Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Dev Channel, which is the build 25136. Microsoft released a surprise build, if you ask me, today. And in this video, of course, as always, we're gonna talk about what is new and what you can find in this new build. What can I tell from the beginning is that this build is kind of exciting because it brings back a feature that we've asked for a long, long time. So before doing anything, please don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one so let's get on with the video in this build first of all we have the file explorer tabs back into Windows 11. Unfortunately, the File Explorer tabs will not be part of the version 22H2, but maybe in the later version, this will be the case. So we have the File Explorer tabs back and also a new navigation pane. I wasn't able to enable the tabs yet on this computer, but I can show you the new navigation pane from the left side. Of course, as soon as I find a good way to enable the tabs and also all the features, I'm gonna let you know in a separate video, but you need to know that we have a new design and also with the file explorer tabs and also with the navigation pane from the left side. So basically you will have easy access to the pinned or frequently used folders when quick access and also your OneDrive cloud profiles added to Windows. Known Windows folders which are available by default in the navigation pane are no longer displayed under this PC to keep that view focused for your PC drives. And of course, as you've guessed, this is only available for a certain amount of insiders. So if you don't have it yet, don't worry, I'm gonna make a video as soon as possible and I'm gonna let you know how to enable this. Before moving on to the next thing, I just wanna say that I'm really excited because Microsoft is bringing this back and they are working on the design a lot more. And I think this is gonna be a really, really big thing. The next big feature that Microsoft will introduce in a later version, maybe next year, but I'm really glad that Microsoft is still working and putting the hours in Windows 11 because let's be honest, it still needs a lot of work. Another interesting new feature that Microsoft is testing is dynamic widgets content on the the taskbar. In addition to seeing live content from the weather widget, you'll also start to see live updates from the sports and finance widgets along with breaking news alerts. Again, this is also a feature that is only available for a certain number of insiders, but I'm gonna make a separate video if I find a way to enable this manual. I'm not gonna lie, I like this idea to be able to see live updates directly from the taskbar other than the weather updates. And I think this could be a good feature if Microsoft implements it well. Also in this build, Microsoft is beginning to roll out the ability for insiders to report animated GIFs they feel are inappropriate from the emoji panel. Some other things that Microsoft announces are some updates to the Notepad app and also to the Media Player app. And of course, if you want to get the updated versions for the Notepad and also for the Media Player, all you need to do is to open up the Store app in Windows 11 and then go to Library and make sure you click on Get Updates and install all the updates available for your computer. So beginning with this version, Notepad will have native ARM64 support also improved performance, especially when scrolling very large files or replacing large amount of text across all devices. Also improved accessibility with improved support for screen readers, text scaling, access keys, and other assistive technologies that are available starting with this version. And as you can see, maybe a slight change design-wise, which I like a lot about the Notepad app in Windows 11. Regarding the media player, Microsoft is rolling out the version 2.2.0.5, which brings performance improvements for users with large media collections and also you can now sort songs and albums in your collection by date added which is actually pretty interesting i remind you again if you want to install these updates to notepad and media player look for updates in the microsoft store and you will have these updates let's talk about some fixes in this build now microsoft addressed an issue which was leading to some pcs being detected as tablets when this happened compact mode and the option to hide checkboxes in file explorer wouldn't take effect and also they fixed an issue causing some insiders to experience a system service exception bug check in recent dev channel builds. Regarding the taskbar, Microsoft fixed an issue that was sometimes causing taskbar apps to overflow with the system tray icons. And also when you hover over a nap in the system tray, its notification will no longer flash. Regarding the start button, Microsoft fixed an issue that could cause start to only show one column of recommended items. And also if you're pinning a large number of apps to start, it should now refresh to show them more reliably. Regarding the settings app, Microsoft fixed an issue from the previous 
supplied where disks and volume section of system storage wasn't displaying any disks or volumes. And also they made a fix to help with a rare issue which was causing title bars to sometimes go transparent or missing sometimes in certain apps. They also fixed some errors related to Windows updates, so for example the error 0 x 0 or also the bug checking error hypervisor error when trying to upgrade to a new build. Regarding Task Manager, Microsoft fixed an issue which was causing Task Manager to crash on launch sometimes after switching between light and dark mode or changing accent color. And finally, Microsoft fixed an issue which could lead to increased latency or stutter in games where vSync was used and they also fixed an issue which could cause some PCs to freeze after running the Windows subsystem for Linux shutdown command. So basically, this is the build of 25136. We have exciting new features, we have the new tabs in the file explorer with a new navigation pane, we have also the new dynamic widgets for the desktop and also some nice updates to certain apps and also a new hidden feature that Microsoft is testing and they didn't announce in their official blog post about which I'm going to talk about in a different video in a few hours from now and I'm going to show you also how to enable that certain feature. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please don't forget to check out the article down below for more info. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.